Welcome to La Vida Rosa. I'm your host, Pinky, and today we're going to be talking about the perfect match. So if you'd like to see more, then just stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this video. The Perfect Match is a dating reality show on Netflix that features single people from their various reality shows on Netflix. They have people from Too Hot to Handle, Love is Blind, Selling Tampa, the circle the ultimatum and spoiler alert by the way i'm gonna definitely spoil the show i'm gonna be honest with y'all i watched all the episodes and i'm just like this show just seemed like it didn't know what it wanted to do it just seemed like they were making things up as they went along like the compatibility competitions didn't make any sense it didn't really show who was really compatible I mean, it was very easy for someone who wasn't compatible with their partner. It was very easy for them to win. The concept of how people even got brought into the house, letting that be in the hands of the people that won, allowed people to manipulate. It's like the game's rules wasn't in control of the game enough. It, it allowed the contestants to be too much in control, if, if you ask me. Even with how they chose a winner, Different couples had to plead their case and, you know, everybody had to vote for the winner. Couples that had just matched the night before were able to compete to win the prize. Even the prize was whack. They got a free trip, like no money, nothing. Like what, what are we, what are we really working for here? I don't even think they knew what the prize was when they first got there. So y'all did all that scheming and conniving for what? And a lot of the contestants were really corny. A lot of the contestants um were being strategic they didn't even they weren't even really trying to like each other some people was overly invested and we're gonna get into all that i'm just gonna let y'all know i'm not going detail by detail i'm not gonna talk about everybody really i think we need to talk about how black women get done dirty on these types of shows like for real for real it just it always happens this way let me start by saying this if you're going to have black women on the show if you're going to have unambiguous black women, if you're going to have monoracial black women, women that when you look at them, you know for a fact that they are black. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You need to have people on the show that are attracted to unambiguous black women. Not mixed women, not light skinned women, even though light skin, I'm light skinned and it's clear I'm light skinned, I'm, you know, not mixed or anything. But have men that have dated those type of women in the past. And I would go as far as to say prefer those women. Because when you throw black women on a show like this with men who are not attracted to them and that will quickly overlook. A black woman for a non-black woman or a white woman it sets that woman up for failure and rejection every single time when i first saw dom and zay even though zay's fiance on the ultimatum i believe she was mixed chase and bartice when they came in contact with those black women i knew for a fact that they were not interested in those women you know why black girls we have a radar for black men that don't like black women we just do we've come in contact with too many of them we've been rejected by too many of them we know them when we see them okay and y'all need a black woman that is highly aware of these type of men in the casting process there's nothing wrong with having black men that like non black women i'm not saying that but if you're going to have the black women include men that like them even if they are of another race so with that being said with Anne sophie being one of the one, first women in the first round it didn't shock me that she ended up with zay by default and honestly i feel like she wasn't into him like that either but clearly he was using her as like a safety net and then when chase got into the situation and he couldn't hook up with any of the non-black women that he wanted once again, Aunt Sophie was used as a safety net. What I didn't like about Chase, I saw a video that Aunt Sophie posted on TikTok basically saying that the very first time I met Chase, I pretty much didn't pay him any dust. I was minding my business. He came and found me. And our first interaction was actually me letting him know that, you know, you're not my type and I know I'm not your type. 
that being said he went on to explain to me that you know don't believe everything you saw into how to handle blah 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 and even beyond that we had some good conversation but baby i am no fool when chase first approached her she was like look i know you're not interested in me i'm not interested in you either let's just keep it moving but basically he was like you know don't judge a book by its cover don't judge me by my other shows yada yada so she gave him a chance and he played her basically um and that's what I don't like. It'd be one thing if he said, okay, we're going to do this strategically. You already said we're not interested. But if we don't find anybody by the end of the night, we'll match with each other so we can stay in here another day. It'd be one thing if he discussed it with her like that. But he made it, he kind of left it open. It kind of made it seem like possibly he could like her. And he used her to get to the non-black girl. Georgia so Ann ended up getting dropped that night and a lot of people were like well Ann should have went with that other black guy I forgot his name and they was like well she should have stuck with Zay what you don't see on camera is that Savannah and Zay kind of like built a connection because they kind of like got to know each other while we were in the house and um Savannah lets me know that Zay asked her to match and once I heard that Zay asked Savannah to match I had actually intended to match with Zay, but um, because I just didn't have a connection with Calvin and it's just, I kind of knew that, you know, it was not going to grow. She was stuck in a rock and a hard place in that show. So I'm not mad at her for the decisions that she made, but I just don't like the way Chase tried to play her, but he got his karma real quick. He did match with Georgia, but the next day Georgia dropped him and that was a running thing for the black guys on this show they would run for the non-black girls and would get dropped as soon as they got picked up uh, everybody couldn't stand bartice from love is blind his season of love is blind we were still mad at him from that show this show didn't make it no better he was a manipulator he's one of those guys that will drop you as soon as another girl gives him attention um, as soon as you say something he don't like, he'll throw your deepest, darkest secrets at you as soon as he get mad, just like he did that girl, Abby. What's her name? Abby? He did He did that to Abby. I was so glad she called him out on that. The only reason Izzy was willing to put up with that Burton Ernie is because she wanted to make it to the end, if you ask me. I couldn't believe Diamond was calling him hot. I was like, Diamond, why, girl? You can't, you can't see through that high top. Like, he really had the nerve to be trying to play women. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? And oh, while I'm on the topic, anytime a white person got in that room and they had to set another black person up on a date, they put the black people together simply because they were black. They didn't look at their personality. They didn't look at compatibility. None of that. Oh, he black and she black. Oh, we gonna put them together. And it was a flop every single time speaking of diamond we all wanted diamond to have her redemption arc on this show because of what happened to her on love is blind and with carlton and him going off on her and like really embarrassing her and degrading her on television we would have loved to see her at least have a cute little dating story so she gets set up on a date with dom i believe we're gonna get to dom in a minute that obviously didn't work out because he was never going to be interested in her. So she ends up matching with Will. And, you know, Will just wanted to stay in the house. He's very strategic. He just wanted to stay in the house. I don't think that she truly, like, was in love with Will. But I think Will definitely used her and kind of played her at the end. Like, everybody was losing their mind over Francesca. It was quite sad how she dogged everybody out and people still came looking up behind her. Was she a producer plant? Because I didn't see the hype. I just really did not see the hype behind Francesca. And they really look stupid because after she got done playing every single one, she left alone. And I love how Diamond told him, okay, good luck getting played. And that's exactly what happened. Every time they try to drop somebody for Francesca, they always got their face cracked every single time. Which brings me to Dom. Dom really got on TV and showed how low his self-esteem was. I never thought I could get somebody like Francesca. And she's low-key clowning him every chance she got. Even when she was supposedly liking him, she was like, he can't even, he's only kissing me. No. Like, she was playing him the entire time. I mean, Dom was running behind her like a little 
puppy. Even at one point when Savannah was trying to holler at him and he ran back and told Francesca and started the little drum. Mind you, side note, Savannah ate Francesca alive. Francesca was not ready. She couldn't handle it. She walked away. Savannah walked right back up behind her and said, oh, I wasn't done with this plate. He ran back and told Francesca. Francesca goes off on Savannah like, this is my man. How dare you come at my man, my man, my man. Just for Dom to help her win the next competition, only for her to drop him for a white man. Dom was sobbing like he just got the worst whooping of his life. I mean, he might as well have been hyperventilating. Mind you, he said he loved Francesca and they had only been there for a few days. Love? You could be she barely wanted to kiss you and you done fell in love? And then he was saying stuff like, Well, I knew, I knew I didn't have a chance with her. Why would you want to be with somebody you knew really didn't like you, but then you put all your eggs in one basket and is crying? like really like embarrassing himself type of tears the very next day he matched up with Georgia which Georgia chose him because he was a safe choice she never really liked him I never believed it I never saw the chemistry between those two they literally look like besties okay you was just in love with Francesca but now you in love with this other non-black girl because she gave you the time of day then you get set up on a date with a beautiful black woman colony which you was already matched up you didn't have to really go all out for colony but it's just the way that he approached dating her why did you say oh i don't mind being a house husband did you say that to francesca no because you know francesca would shut that down quick talking about yeah i don't mind letting you take care of me i don't mind being a house husband and then he kept calling her a strong black woman, a strong black woman. Every time he said that, it made me cringe. Why do y'all do that to dark skinned women? Why do y'all do that to black women, period? Y'all do not talk to white women like, oh, you a strong white woman. You a strong Hispanic woman. Y'all don't do that to them. But y'all love to make us the strong black woman and have to carry y'all on our backs. Why? You see no value in us otherwise. You could never see us romantically in that way, clearly. Just a strong black woman. Even, he even introduced Colony to Bartise. Strong black woman. And, and you introduce her to Bartise. No one Bartise is not interested. He don't want no black woman. Like, wh why would you do that? And shout out to Colony because she was not even here for playing any games with y'all. She was like, oh, I'm ready to go. Like, she, she knew her match wasn't there. I'm so glad she didn't entertain y'all in the least bit. Y'all didn't deserve that, okay? And she didn't deserve to get treated like that. Strong black woman. Why would you continue saying that? But you know what? Even though him and Georgia won, which like, what? How did that happen? It was hilarious because Joey and Carousel just knew that they were going to win, especially when Joey proposed. And we all know Joey only proposed because they wanted to win, okay? Because they ain't even together to this day. But guess who else got dropped? As soon as they left, they didn't even get a chance to enjoy their prize because Georgia dropped him as soon as they left that house and got with a white man. Everybody thought Chase was just hating when he caught out that fake connection, how he just jumped straight from being in love with Francesca straight to Georgia, but he was not wrong. Yeah, everybody kept having so much sympathy for Dom and because of how he was crying and everything. And I just feel like Dom, like you you was weak you was simping that's what happens like i'm there's a difference between there's a difference between being a sweet nice guy and treating a woman with respect and being a simp and letting a woman walk all over you and basically begging for more like i don't feel bad for you you definitely wouldn't have let a black woman treat you that way you would have been the first one to call that out but all she got to do is be a knockoff kardashian and you in the streets crying <laughs> on national television millions of people saw that you should be embarrassed are you not embarrassed that's embarrassing you a grown man really in tears like i just couldn't believe that y'all but y'all that's all i have for perfect match y'all let me know what y'all think down below do you agree with me do you not agree with me i would love to hear your opinion and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one peace